everyone. This is Dr. Jan Tappen, your life tour guide. I help wandering visionaries navigate life on their path to fulfillment. A friend and I started on Clubhouse reviewing the book, The Moses Code. And I realized that even though we're reading the Moses Code out loud and we're talking about the exercises, I was finding it difficult to actually get the exercises completed. So I decided to start a room on Clubhouse at five o'clock Pacific. However, that time on Clubhouse seems to be a time where a lot of other people are hosting rooms, but it's the only time that I have available between about five and 6.30 in the evening. Decided that I would come on to YouTube and share about the Moses Code. What was interesting is that this book was written in 2008 and still I'm finding that a lot of people are not aware of this book. So the first thing that I wanted to do is if you are not uh, familiar with the book, go ahead and take a look on um, at your library. I know for myself, I couldn't find it at my library. I was very, very surprised. They did not have a copy of it whatsoever. They have the movie, but you can also view the movie on uh, here on, right here on YouTube. What I want to do is I did find it and I will add a link to that in the description below so that you can find it as a free PDF uh, online if you either don't have the means to purchase it at this moment or if you just want to rather than having a hard copy but you're more than welcome to buy a copy we are reading out of the sixth edition so let's go ahead and I'm going to pull up the the book itself that I have on the at least I thought I was going to <laughs> Sure. Okay. Tell me why this isn't working for me. Oh my gosh, this is so... There we go. Okay. So I want to go ahead and... So instead of reading the, the whole entire book, I just want to do the, the exercises so that you can do the exercises and then you can read the book at your own your own leisure. So exercise one is the first form. What do you want to attract in your life? This is your first step. You may choose to start off with something small or go after your heart's desire. It's totally up to you since the Moses Code doesn't recognize levels of difficulty. It treats everything the same as extensions of God and therefore something that you deserve. You're also an extension of God, so it's logical that you are entitled to whatever you request. This may seem like a distant leap for you in your mind, but with continued practice, you'll know it's true. You have, chose, have you chosen to focus on financial abundance, a particular object, or the perfect relationship? Write down on a piece of paper. Write it down on a piece of paper and keep it in front of you so you can clearly see your goal. Now, go to a place where you can relax and be alone. At first, you'll only practice this exercise for a few moments, but after a while, it will become a habit, and you'll find yourself using it throughout the day. Once you're alone and relaxed, take a deep breath. With your eyes open, look at the sheet of paper in front of you and say out loud, I am that. And you're exhaling as you recite these words because that's how we speak. I am that. Okay. Exhale as you recite those words. And then as you inhale, continue by saying, I am. The sound will be different because you're reciting the second phrase on the in breath. So repeat this circular breathing and speaking as you stare at what you've written down. It's important to feel the emotion of already having what you're asking for. 
And the author goes on to say, I'll explain this more in a moment, but for now, create the emotional feeling that you've achieved your goal and continue to breathe and repeat the chant. So it is, you take a breath, you're looking at the piece of paper with what you have written, and you're saying, I am that. Then on the in-breath, I am. So you see how it sounds different. It's, it's a, I, I feel like the easiest way for me to describe it is it's like when you're gasping, you know, <gasps> so you, there's a sound, but it's on the in breath. And we don't, we don't normally speak like that. We're speaking, breathing out. So breathing in and saying the words sounds way different and that's okay. But the important thing is that you are creating the sound, which creates a vibration and then also to feel the feeling as if whatever that is, is already yours. You already feel it. And I want to take these in little sequences. So even though there is more to this, I wanted to just touch base and start this process of creating these things in your life and using the Moses Code to manifest what it is that you desire. So practice this. Write down something on a piece of paper that you want, and then there's more exercises to come. If you want to download the book, go ahead and do that. You can see the exercises, but I would love to create a space where we are working on these manifestations of what we desire together. So again, Oh, eyes open, look at the piece of paper. What is it that you are desiring? Saying out loud and feeling the feeling. I am that. I am. I, and I closed my eyes. I'm supposed to have them open, but you get the point. For me to feel the feeling, it's, it's easier to close my eyes. But if you have it written on your piece of paper, Look at the paper. I am that. I am. And that breathing pattern, I think this author has shared it in that way because that is important. Thank you so much. I know this was a, a short video and I want to keep them short because we are all busy. I want to get to the essence of each one of these exercises and let's do some manifesting. And share in the comments below if there's any questions or anything that you want to share. I, I would love to start a dialogue about this. Dr. Jan, your life is fulfillment. And I have another call coming in. Catch you all later. And Okay, apparently, of course, I don't know how to end this. Save my life. All right, let's try the X. Are you sure you want to stop streaming?